I don't know what it's been like for you over these past couple of weeks, but this has been very different for all of us, hasn't it? And last week we had this really fun thing that happened in our community where the teachers from uh, Lily and Jaden's school actually did a parade through the community. And so they all lined up in their cars and for some of them it was somebody else driving and the teacher was hanging out of the sunroof or the teacher was driving and his or her window was down and um, everyone was honking their horns and families were outside of their houses as all of the teachers drove down the street. And it was so exciting. Um, we heard all of the noise and so we ran out uh, of the door and saw a few of the teachers and um, it was just a really exciting time. I wonder if you've ever been to a parade where you've been, you've gone to the street and you've stood and you've waited in anticipation for who's getting ready to come down. Um, our family a few years ago was able to go to Disneyland and um, I remember lining the street waiting uh, for all of our Disney friends to come parading down the Disneyland street. And we sat and we waited and we waited for them to come and then they came and it was the most exciting experience. I wonder if you've ever got to experience something like that. Well, if you haven't, I want you to take a look for just a minute at what a parade might look like. Did you sense the excitement? Um, did you hear the music and the laughing and uh, the pointing and just all of the emotion that comes with a great parade. Well, if you've sat through a parade, you know that there's um, great excitement as you're waiting for the parade to come. There's so much excitement as the parade is going by. And then we come to the end and the parade is over and the celebration is done. Well, I want to share with you this morning uh, a story we, that we find in Matthew chapter 21 uh, about a parade kind of like this. And uh, what happened is that Jesus was coming to town. And so he had uh, some of his friends get a donkey um, and Jesus uh, rode on a donkey. And the scripture tells us that crowds went before Jesus crowds followed behind Jesus, and people gathered all over the roads. And as Jesus came into town, the excitement was unreal. And this is what scripture tells us about what the people said as Jesus came into town. Matthew chapter 1, starting at verse 9, says this, the crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. After hearing that scripture, can you see it in your mind? Can you maybe feel what was happening there? The excitement of the crowds as they gathered in anticipation um, in excitement that it's King Jesus coming down their street. And so they were so excited and the crowds were amazed. But you know, there were some people in the crowd who actually didn't know who he was. And so they're saying, who is this? And the other crowds, the other pe people in the crowd who knew who he was said, oh, this is King Jesus. It's Jesus who has come to Jerusalem today. Friends, today is Palm Sunday, and it's a great day of celebration, just like the people uh, celebrated Jesus in Jerusalem as he came through on that donkey. You and I have the opportunity today to celebrate King Jesus in our own homes and in our own hearts. Today we say, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Would you pray with me? Jesus, today we celebrate you. Today we are so grateful that you have come, that you are available to us. And today, even in this difficult time that we're living in, we have great reason to celebrate because Jesus loves us each one. So today, Jesus, we celebrate you. We honor you. We glorify you because you are good, because you have come and you have made yourself available to us. So today we love you, today we honor you, today we celebrate you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.